Let's get over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Basil has an outstanding show here every trading day, 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time, also has a great newsletter, The Opening Call. Now, it's very easy to get The Opening Call, folks. You come over to our website, at TFNN, and you're going to see this right under, um, sorry, you're going to see it right under Featured Content. You just hit that button, and you are off to the races, and you'll understand how this market works. Basil Chapman, how you doing? Well, off to the races. I'm not sure what we call this one. This <laughs> is on the race downhill slope. It is. It, this is a bobsled going downtown, man. It, it is. And what's really interesting is I'd shown this chart um, to subscribers this morning, and I said, uh, we're going to have to watch this. Let me see if I can find the chart. I know exactly what you said because I was driving, and what Basil said, folks. And remember, this this program's archived. Well, this program's archived because he was giving it 90 minutes. I was cracking up, Basil, when you're saying I'm giving this down 90 minutes with that price, and unfortunately, it, it broke it. Right? Yeah. So. And basically, what I was saying is that the pattern of the candles of the 24. Uh, 24th of January. Yes. The candle of the 24th of February and yesterday's candle. And I'll just see if I can do this. I'll make it a little bit bigger. Yeah. So basically what we're looking at is that the candle I call the Chapman Wave Roman candle that is in the, oh, I don't even want to talk about it, in the S&P monthly chart, but it's red. When it's green and at lows, you can get a really strong rally, which is what we got on the 24th of January. You see this big green candle where you've got a tiny little wick, a long wick at the bottom, and then it closes a half to two-thirds off the low. And then we got that rally from 32,150 to 35,824, and then it plunged again and made us exactly the same candle on the 24th of February called Chapman Wave Roman Candle, a little a tiny little wick long body but a green one and the rule of thumb is how how quickly it can close above the left side high and look what happened eventually it went to the high of 35,372 peak d pulls back made that thursday i think it was this last thursday big spike to 35,492 and plummeted down and then yesterday we had the same candle but i three times in a row without great success i said to subscribers we've got to be we actually went along yesterday morning we got out of it this morning for a profit and i said me, i can take this away now and then i said if there is a move below the and this is what you were talking about below 30 35,590 yes. that holds uh, that holds for about 90 minutes Watch out, because we could test the low of the day. Well, the low so far today is 33,312. Yesterday's low was 3,323. So that's exactly what we did. This is not, and you know, you were talking about uh, the, the closing bell. And immediately after that, we have. Uh, does Microsoft? I know Google, but does Microsoft also announce straight away? They do. And so, what Basil's I mean, talking, it is well, literally within seconds. You'll see Microsoft and Google come out with it. And of course, what ends up happening, folks, the futures are open for another 15 minutes. Yeah, so it's going to affect the market for sure. And because the futures are open, that's very different to if you have this overnight slump or big yes. move up. And then the, by the morning, anything can happen by the time the market opens. But when this, when the, when you've got 15, <laughs> it's a lifetime. 15 it is. Minutes. So the question I was going through this morning is, for me, this is for my subscribers who are on the call. This is one of our, our biggest uh, cash positions we've had in a very long time. Uh, we, we have very few pos long positions. The, 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 ones we, the, the latest ones that we have are actually holding quite nicely, even in this market right now. But what, what I wanted to do is to show them that if the XLP, which is the S&P Select Staples, starts to fall here, that's been the leader because it's defensive, not defense like Raytheon or Lockheed right. Martin, but defensive, Procter & Gamble, etc. If you lose that, I, oh, so that's the one thing. So I'm, I'm a little worried on that, that, that bias is to say we've had support. But now you're getting fewer and fewer sectors that are, we had the support of the uh, the finance, the uh, the oil the uh, chevrons of of the world uh, helping the Dow. But all of a sudden we might lose that. So I, the reason why I went through uh, some of the um, Microsoft 
and uh, Google this morning is the chart pattern. This is re they're on the cusp, but right? you know you always talk about ice. Yes, they're on ice. I mean, two seventy round number on the eighth of March for Microsoft goes to a peak D. That's what we're always looking for in the Chapman wave for a buy mode, and then it plunges, it comes down, and yesterday's low was two seventy point seventy seven. So, my, the thinking that I had was, if Microsoft announces good news, and maybe they say they're buying back whatever number of shares, and it helps. I don't know what they can say about the outlook, and that's really the big issue right now. And Google, they're going to have to come up with something absolutely amazing. Um, and Google's the same thing. Look at the chart, this, this arch formation. Look at that. We broke it. This is the dreaded H that I always talk about. Yes. So uh, all I'm saying is that I've been saying for weeks and weeks, raise cash, have cash handy. This is a market that is highly vulnerable. We, we have found really nice stocks that are good, short-term, good percentage gains. But I can't, I don't see anything right now that I can feel, I can you know, latch onto and say, hey, I'm gonna, I don't care if it pulls back 6%, 8 but I, it, it, things can fall 15 to 20%, yeah, because we saw that in the, the huge big caps. So while looking out, I think so far, I'm still in the, in the camp that says we've used up a tremendous amount of time. I mean, if you look at the, the, the Dow, it's been in a consolidation with all the bad news that's going on. When you go from 36, let's call it 37,000, down to 32,000, we just, you know, at 33,350, we're still in the range. So it, the whole thing is if we've, if, you, if we've usurped time rather than price, because under these conditions, you'd say, I can understand if the market was down 18% or 20%. We aren't there yet. So far, it's held well. This is going to be the key. Do we see Microsoft and Google and Amazon and Apple this week save the day? And at least use time rather than price. Oh, whew, by get that life jacket afternoon. out. The real question is, who has that life jacket, man? No doubt. Well, you have to. You have to be careful right now. Yes. You have a great one, a safe one, Baz. We look forward to the show tomorrow. Thank you, Tom. You too. Thank you. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back.